Good morning. Welcome back to the Retirement Report. I'm Hank Parrott, your host. All right, we're going to be, uh, as I've been, you know, saying before the break, there's some things that we want to pay attention to. One of them, uh, of course, we talk about is inflation and what inflation, you know, as we've seen, right? And we go to the gas station and over 100 bucks to fill your gas tank. Uh, crazy, you know, prices at the food store. Uh, we and, and all the things that are in the news that are warning us about, you know, this not over yet. The Fed's raising rates. Um, they expect again another three quarters of a percent raise. It could go a hundred, you know, could go one percent, a hundred basis points uh, at this next meeting. What they're seeing is they want to cut, bring inflation down, but ideally without pushing us into a recession, or at least that's kind of the goal. However, that's the other thing that's in the news, right? Uh, expectations data indicate the U.S. is entering recession about now. That was back in, in October of last year. And what we saw, in fact, was the first quarter of the year was negative. And now we're looking at the second quarter and the uh, federal, um, uh, federal chairman over at the, excuse me, the Atlanta Pres Federal Reserve President of the uh, in Atlanta, what they uh, put out there was that uh, they see a, the second quarter being about a negative two percent, I think it was, and they may have adjusted that a little bit, but basically they're looking at another negative quarter. Now we are, then that would you know be the indication that we're of course in a recession and have been. So what do you do with all this? Okay, how do you uh, put this knowledge to work to benefit yourself? Is it you know do we get scared and just go hide? Do we you know put our money you know in the ba in the mattress kind of thing? Uh, and you, you know or how do we make sure that we've got that our income is going to be able to uh, sustain us to still be able to maintain our standard living and quality of life without having to you know reduce that down to be all of a sudden making choices like not being able to go out to eat or not being able to, you know, go to a movie or go on vacation or whatever it might be that we have to maybe cut way back on leisure activities, those kind of concerns. How you invest when we think long term, when we think of inflation right now being up in double digit range, uh, what we're also seeing at the same time is when we look historically, inflation rates have, you know, prior to this run up here in this past year, uh, we've seen inflation down in the 2% range and the Fed of course wants to bring it back down into that range. This is, you know, we expected that it's likely to go into a recession whenever these kind of cycles occur. So how do you again, bring this into your own use. And that's where you want to be thinking in terms of how can I have a stable income where my investments I can, you know, let ride out. So when we think about right out this volatility, this uh, bear market. So when we think in terms of the way that uh, when, uh, we're, when we're looking at our investments and we're thinking of how we're investing and we think before we retired what it looked like. So before retirement when you're saving money and you're pumping money into a 401k and those accounts when they go down and you're pumping money in every month, right, the shares, you're, you're able to buy more shares, right, because of the, the lower price for the same amount of money. So it's actually a benefit to you. And when that market bottoms out, you've now got more shares. When it goes back up again, you're going to uh, actually, it's going to enhance your returns and, and get, you're going to recover even faster uh, from that kind of market. Now, what happens though when you're retired and now you're taking money out and that market goes down? Right? The opposite. Now I'm having to sell more and more of my shares because they're worth less and less and I need the same amount of money or maybe a little more, in particular more with, with the cost of things going up. So what happens then is I'm having to shell, sell more and more of my shares at a time like this and it puts me at risk that now when the market bottoms, I have fewer shares. So even when it goes back up, the fewer shares that I have increasing in price, it's going to slow my recovery from that bear market, my recovering my money, what I, what I had lost in that bear market, getting it back, uh, and it's going to take longer. And in some instances, depending on the amount of income I need from my accounts, it could put me at risk of running out of money. So how do we again combat that? So let's talk, uh, there's a nationwide piece that I shared with you once before, and I think it's a good time to bring that back in as things continue down this road. So we'll start with the first slide, which is what is an annuity? So an annuity, when we're talking about, again, a way that you can get the income that you need. So when your investments, if I've got an annuity, if I've got a base of income, 
Okay, just like I've got Social Security, uh, maybe I'm fortunate and have a pension, uh, stable income streams uh, that I can count on, and an annuity being one of those, it can give me a guaranteed income for life and for a couple for two lives. So again, an annuity is a financial product that can be customized. This is sometimes missed. This is the, you know, is finding the right annuity and then the one with enough uh, features and benefits to allow me to customize it personally it to my individual needs and it's a, you know again to give you lifetime guarantees in retirement so it's a long-term tax deferred investment this is a definition by nationwide uh, able to provide protection for income legacy and spousal needs issued by an insurance company purchased through a licensed financial advisor and again able to be tailored to your unique retirement needs to help protect what matters to you finding the right annuity is part of that because the right if the wrong annuity and it's going to you know be a big disappointment for you the right annuity for your personal needs that you're looking, you know, depending on your goals, whether it's income, lifetime income, whether it's uh, safe uh, growth over your lifetime, whether it's maybe legacy planning um, where you want to leverage your assets to en enhance those for the next generation, for your, your kids, your grandkids, that kind of thing. So we'll look at the value of an annuity basically. One, again, they can provide you lifetime income, legacy planning, spousal opportunities. I can protect my uh, my spouse with the you know getting that same kind of income uh, for them so if I when we take out an annuity I've got lifetime income that uh, not only for my lifetime but for that of or can there be for a spouse as well so it can be used to protect and preserve assets for a surviving spouse through death benefits and living or living benefits to sustain their ongoing lifestyle. So they'd have the option if they needed um, a lump sum for whatever reason, or if they needed just to have that income being maintained. And again, income that in, can increase over your lifetime as well. Um, the next piece, when we look at annuities, right? Annuities are flexible. This is one of those areas uh, in understanding them that it's important if you if you've got into something that isn't flexible it doesn't have flexible timing flexible opportunities flexible options available to you to choose from uh, flexible withdrawal amounts um, and so you can invest so for instance for flexible timing I can invest a lump sum now or maybe add money over a period of time uh, flexible opportunities for choosing from lifetime income or legacy planning spousal guarantees uh, so I can get income I can get growth I can get legacy there's a lot of different uh, uh, not only within certain annuities but making sure we're going to get the right annuity for what we need flexible annuity options we have immediate annuities fixed annuities fixed index annuities variable annuities and again with flexible withdrawals as well where i can take a little bit if that's all i need right now and i can increase that over time now i'm going to we're going to take a break when we come back i'm going to break down a little bit more about the different types of annuities and how you can use those in particular in these times right for some safety, for some peace of mind, for the guarantees that they provide. First to break, join us here. We'll be right back on the Retirement Report.